Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new here, welcome. Um, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. I mean, I kind of think you should like join our little tribe we have going here. Um, we're very honest here. We're very open. Um, yeah, that's really it. We're very honest here. We address things head on. Um, just to get right into it so that I'm not sitting here talking too much because I talk forever today i'm going to be filming a luxury shopping haul so everything you see behind me um i went to amsterdam two weeks ago and i went shopping i got home like two days two three days before christmas so these were my christmas gifts uh before you people that like to count other people's pockets i didn't pay for any of this stuff you know it was gifts from my little boo so mind your business don't count my coins don't count his coins and we're golden on this channel if you want to see what i bought in amsterdam just keep on watching and we're gonna unbox together unbox together fun fact i can only snap with one finger i'm left-handed and like i don't i don't even have the like movement down pat but it really not that you guys care Shotty made that ass clap she don't need no applause high fashion like go y'all g-wagon or the rover i put some ice on you because you got a call i know i gotta keep my shorty on go go, go. drop that ass to the floor for you. Yeah. Ah, whoa, whoa. you ain't gotta do it none of these. so i have some stuff from saint laurent and i have things from dior and i have things from louis vuitton and i have some things from off-white and i have something from farragat essentials so just to like jump right into it um the little bags that you see right here these were all sorry that was my dog if you hear him choking coughing sneezing whatever you want to call it um those were all accessories so since i was there for christmas i picked up some gifts for my friends my bffs or whatever and i got five of these so these little louis vuitton bracelets um i got five of these so i have one kylo has one stephanie has one and then byron has two of them because i got him one and stephanie got him one um me steph and kylo all have the monogram so it's just a regular traditional monogram and then it has a gold clasp and the clasp has monogram on it as well um these are in us dollars they're 250 dollars and over there they're 150 euros and then because i'm not from there i got a tax refund um yeah i got a tax refund on all my purchases so i'll kind of like disclose that at the end but yeah so these are 150 euros over there and 250 dollars here i don't know how that makes sense but whatever i'm minding my business and then the next thing i got was i went to dior and i got the friendship bracelets and these are in the like traditional navy blue in the oblique so i figured i wanted my first set to be like the day one traditional set because they have them in like blush pink um like a bright fuchsia pink um and peachy pink and like um, a more darker blue that's but it's like brighter if that makes sense um, so I just figured my first one, I wanted it to be like more neutral because I've, I've been wearing these every day. I, I only take them off when I shower and stuff. But other than that, I have them on. Um, I love these. They're so stinking cute. I'm not, my, my style is not really like bohemian or like earthy. So I feel like this just adds texture to like all my outfits. It just makes everything look a little more, um, worn in if I say so myself. So yeah, it's a string coming out, but I'll just cut it. So yeah, and these... These are super expensive. In America, they're $420. They come in this set of two, so you buy them together. They're $420 over here. Uh, that's ridiculous for some cloth bracelets, but I've been wanting them. I'm one of those people that, like, if I say I want something, I'm not going to let it go, like, until I get it. Like, I just don't know how to. It's like I, I set my mind to it. I'm just like, I have to have it. Like, I've been wanting it for three years. Why would I not get it now? So, yeah. And I, but I just was never paying $420 for, like, a pair of bracelets. Because if I put $200 more to that, I could have got a pair of shoes. And I like shoes more than I like accessories. So, the, yeah. These cost $420 over here in the States. Um, over there, they were $350, I believe. Or in that range, $350, $360 or something like that. Um, so, yeah. I picked these up. And I've just been wearing this every day. So usually I wear it on the 
arm with my watch just because I don't know I kind of like the way it looks when there's a lot going on I don't know why that's not everybody's cup of tea but I like it um, but I just opted for this arm today to kind of see if I like it. So moving on to bigger things. Um, before I even go into the bags, I'm just going to go into the clothing items I have right next to me. So I picked up um, another Fair God Essentials sweatsuit. So this one is a lighter gray. Um, it's, what is this? Like a heather gray, I guess. Um, and then it has, oh, it's on this side. It has the Essentials logo same one as my other sweatsuit that you guys saw in my haul if you watched it i'll link it below um this one's in like a dark gray so you actually see it but it's reflective too when like a flash goes on it uh, my other essential sweatsuit is like it's still gray it's not dark gray but it's not this light of a gray but this is my favorite gray so when i saw this i was like oh i have to get it and then i have the sweatshirt version to go with my other essential sweatsuit and i've been wanting a hoodie but they're always sold out so I picked up the regular traditional hoodie. This says essentials in the same gray. I keep thinking that's these stains on it. And then it just has the regular pocket. Um, for reference, I'm 5'4". I'm like 142 pounds. Judge your mother. Um, and the hoodie, this is an extra, extra small. It looks like it's going to fit. I haven't tried it on yet. It's so soft though. Um, and then the sweatpants, the sweatshirt, and other sweatpants I have, they're all extra small just in case you like need a size reference because they start at extra, extra small. They're considered unisex, but they're men's. So yeah, if you were ever curious. Um, where do we start? What do you guys want to see first? Like, let me know. I wish you guys could like talk to me while I'm doing this. Um, so let's start with Dior. So these Dior bags are so stinking cute. Um, these are my first purchases from Dior. My first purchases. Yeah, well, I went and got this stuff. So these are my first purchases. Sorry, it's a piece of hair like on my forehead and I can feel it. It's here too. These are my first purchases from Dior. Um, I don't own anything from them. So I was excited. It's crazy because my hotel was near like the famous street in Amsterdam that has all the designer stores. It's called like pc something i will insert it here because i'm not even going to try to pronounce it sis don't know how to roll her tongue sis couldn't even speak spanish so we're not even gonna bother there um so i went there first because it was behind my hotel and i went to their dior their louis vuitton and um like went in like hermes and like louis vuitton and stuff like that while i was there um and then I had plans but they got canceled so then I ended up going to the department store at damn square I will insert the name here because I'm not gonna bother um, and then that's where I got some of the other stuff same stores I wouldn't like the same Louis Vuitton um, and I got St. Laurent stuff there the reason I went to two different locations for like Louis Vuitton is because you can't buy three more than three of the same thing so I wanted three of these monogram ones but I couldn't buy three monograms I had to get like two monograms in a different print so I had to go to the other Louis Vuitton and then I ended up spending more money. Alright, so from Dior, these are their holiday bags, I believe. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're like all year bag, all year round bags are white with the Dior logo. Um, but these are navy blue and gold. They are so nice. They're really good quality. I keep all my bags for all my designer items that I've ever bought. I don't know why. I might be a rookie to this. I might be tacky. I like keeping my bags, you know? give it all to me give me the receipt holders all of it um it has stocking paper in it stocking paper tissue paper in it that's embossed the dior logo it's really nice and then every bag comes with a little charm on it that also says dior which is super cute so like i said everything was previously gift wrapped and i did it all for the first video and i just <sighs> i mean i love y'all but like that's intense putting the you know how hard it is to figure out how ribbon was on like a box so my first item came in <laughs> it came in this box um so it's just a traditional white box with the silver dior logo this is a pair of shoes um these i have not worn yet i honestly funny story so i got them because i have this really weird like i have this really weird sorry that was my phone I had this really weird thing where like I feel the need to own two of things like I don't know if it has anything to do with like OCD or anything but like having doubles of stuff 
just makes me like I don't know feel better so I tried both these on and you know sometimes you mess up and you go shopping and you have a cute outfit and you try things on and everything looks bomb like you know what I'm talking about when everything looks so good you're just like damn I don't know what color and they were cheaper there so sis just got both colors because sis couldn't choose i'm sis this is me i don't care judge me if you want <laughs> i don't regret my purchases so these over here in the states are i believe like 950 dollars 995 maybe um they're high as hell almost a thousand dollars basically um over there they were 750 euros so that's a bargain to me i said what that's close to six i could do that so these are what they look like these are let me see what they're called i think they're called the technical knit yeah a walk in dior technical knit this is in nude i took a size 37 which is my normal size in every brand um louboutins and everything the only brands that my size would be ranges in is alexander wang and ysl sometimes but i took a 37 in these these are so freaking comfortable it's ridiculous like i had on my louis vuitton desert boots when i went shopping like a dumbass because i didn't know i was gonna be shopping like i didn't know i was like doing this type of shopping um so i wore my desert boots and my feet were killing me because if you have them you know they're very narrow and because of like it's a boot it doesn't give and i've wore them so many times so i tried these on and oh my god like this is like a really high quality knit like it says like technical knit and they're just oh, they're so good it doesn't have like traditional shoelaces so I honestly was so tired I wasn't even paying the man no mind his his name was Luigi he was so nice to me um it's a clasp and you somehow alter this clasp pick lift it up I don't know flip it down and you could change how tight it is but i tried them on so he did it for me so i haven't touched them since but yeah so i like how it's not shoelaces because i hate tying my shoelaces i'm clumsy they come untied all day um so i like that and the shoelaces say christian dior if you know me i'm very in between like i like plain stuff that's gaudy so like i like like this is a regular t-shirt but it just says saint laurent so you know it's saint laurent but it's not like huge you know um so like i like stuff like this so it's understated but you know it's Dior, so it says Christian Dior Jador at the back. Um, that's probably not even how you pronounce it. Jador, you know? Um, and then the laces, like I said. I haven't worn these yet. I'm waiting on me getting a bag to match. I mean, I have a bag that I could wear with them if I wanted to. But I want a new bag. So, yeah. So, I got those. Um, they were super, super cute. I think I, the reason I really liked them was because when I went shopping, I had on gray sweatpants that had, like... Um, a tan string and I had on like a tan bra I'll insert a picture in a tan bra and like a black sweater so like since my outfit was pulling tans like I don't know like I was drawn to the sneakers a little bit originally I was trying to get the oblique ones I'll put a picture right here the oblique ones are the ones that match this bracelet just the regular um, Dior logo they didn't have my size I could have checked in the other Dior but I was already shopping all day so I didn't do that so next I'm not going in any order. I'm just going like in order from bag. So next is a Saint Laurent. So this is my first um, Saint Laurent bag. The only other, I mean, here's the thing. I love Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent's one. Saint Laurent is one of my favorite high-end designers when it comes to like clothes and stuff. Because like I said, it's very understated. It's very minimal. It's very classic. AKA why they don't put new stuff out. Um, if you are familiar with YSL, you know, it's just basically the same thing, different colorways, different materials. Um, I own a few of their t-shirts and a lot of their shoes. A lot of my designer shoe collection is YSL. I've owned their espadrilles, their sneakers, and a lot of their heels. So it's one of my favorite brands. So I went and I got this. It comes in like a regular box. It looks like a shoe box. It had black ribbon, like I told you guys. And it comes in a dust bag this is one of those bags we have to store in a dust bag when she was telling me how to take care of it i was like so basically don't wear it that's what you're telling me um but it's it's so beautiful so this bag in the united states is 24.50 high it's 2500 i'm not even gonna act like i could tell you guys how much i paid for it because i was so tired at that point that i just remember counting the money and giving it to her um i want to say it was 1800 euros 
in comparison to the 2500 US dollars. So this is this is the Saint Laurent cape bag. Um, this is croc embossed with gold hardware. If you know me, you know I prefer gold hardware and everything. I hate silver. It just doesn't. It just doesn't do it for me. My friends always tell me overseas they're like, oh, rose gold is better, but like bags don't come in like rose gold. You know, it's gold or silver. So yeah, so this is the Saint Laurent cape bag, croc embossed. Like I said, gold hardware. So you can see the croc. Oh, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's just. It's Oh, let's just take a second because I, like I can't um and then it has a tassel I opted for the one with the tassel just because I feel like it's just like a touch fit classier um just for like those times if you need like a going out bag a night bag um it like will spice up your look a little bit so it just has a button closure and then one pocket and then it has like some um like one little what's that called pocket at the side and it's just oh it's just so good so you could wear it i mean you can wear it like this but it would kind of mess up right here because of the way that the holes are but i mean like temporarily like if you wanted to just throw it over your shoulder you could um and then for the most part you're supposed to carry it like this so long shoulder wise me most likely the same way that i carry my louis vuitton bag that's similar to this in monogram what i do is i pull the chain in the inside under the flap and then i knot the chain like a dumbass um so basically i knot it like this i don't put a lot of stuff in my bag so it's never like straining the bag but i will make it even tighter this so that the strap is very low and it's just like a little you know a little top handle bag um that's kind of my thing i kind of like it looking more feminine and dainty i'm really short so sometimes these bags that are crossbody they are a little too long on me um but i see some people where they hit like the perfect spot like not too high under the arm but not too long on the hip i like that but it doesn't do that on me with this bag um, which is okay but yeah so i got that but it's a really nice bag. I would I would never pay the twenty five hundred dollars in the U S for this. I just want to make that clear. I think that's ridiculous for this type of bag, being as though that it doesn't fit anything. I mean, if no, it probably fits stuff. I haven't carried it, so I don't know. But I wouldn't pay twenty five hundred dollars for this. Like, if I'm gonna pay twenty five hundred dollars for a bag, I will go to Louis Vuitton. And it's just because Louis is more classic. Don't get me wrong, Saint Laurent is very classic, but I feel like you cannot go wrong with a monogram bag. Um, but yes, yeah, so I picked this up and it's beautiful. I can't wait to wear it. And let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Where do we go next? Oh my god, guys, this is so exciting. I feel like it's Christmas all over again. Um, all of these bags just have like the boxes for the bracelets in there that I got. Like they just came like this with the um, new cards. And the new bags are so cute. I'm thinking about turning them into wall art. So if you want to see that, let me know. I don't know. I love it. I've been like shopping. My first bag, my first bag that was given to me, which was a Speedy, was um, the brown Damier. And then um, the first bag that I purchased, like that I went to the store by myself and bought, was the Louis Vuitton Never Fool in Monogram, which I got for my 16th birthday, I believe. I still have that bag and it still looks brand freaking new. Um, so I've been shopping at Louis Vuitton since they gave out their stuff in their brown paper bags. And then it turned into the orange bags with the blue handles. And now here we are with rainbow. But this rainbow, I hope they keep it. I hope they even upgrade the boxes because wow. Like it's so stinking cute. I cannot. My dog is underneath me and I keep kicking him. Um, this was the Dior bag that the bracelets came in and like the ribbon. And I just still have the box in there. Because I had to keep everything stored so you guys could see it. So we'll go back to Dior um same deal with the bag imagine me carrying all this crap around and it just was a disaster my arms were going to fall off my body and people were looking at me like I was crazy because apparently people don't shop like that and over there they're like you know I was just doing I buy one thing but I'm not from there so if everything is cheaper give me everything give me everything so oh, i didn't make sure so this is, is just the card and then it comes with gray dust bags i don't really care for the dust bags i wish they were a different color but what else i'm not fair um the person they consult about those types of things but i guess it because it matches the paper 
So aside from the nude ones, these are the same sneakers, Tactical Knit Walking to York. I got them in the black. Um, if you guys know, I just have like a lot of heels. So I just felt like me, this, these were good investment sneakers for me. Um, they're really dirty. I don't know where the hell I was walking that they got this dirty because I'm, it's not like I was running. I was walking very lightly. I think this is the type of rubber that just attracts dirt, which I've seen on, I have a lot of shoes like that, honestly. Um, but yeah, so these are just the black technical knit. Same though, same size, same everything. It's a good shoe. I've been wearing these though every time I've been outside <laughs> since I got them. They're just, oh, they're too good. They're too good. They're too good. I love them. But I just ended up picking up these because once he told me, once Luigi told me that they didn't have um, the obliques, I was like, well, can I just try on the black? And he was like, yeah. He was like, well, I brought the tan out just to see if you fit it. He said, like, because I think the black is on display in your size. And I was like, okay. So then I just put on one of each foot and I was like, damn, just give me both Luigi. <laughs> we, he was so sweet that we were just in there. He kept giving me all the champagne. It was a disaster. That's, that's how they get you. When they know you're going to spend money, they're like, oh, you want some water or champagne? Next thing you know, you're drunk. And you're just like, yeah, I'll take it. It's okay. That's all right. So the second to last thing that I got was um, something from Louis Vuitton. It is a bag. Um, I've been wearing this every day since I got it. It's like my... Um, it's like my everyday bag now. It's so practical. It's so easy. Um, it's so like fashion forward. I love it. Um, yeah, this is like my main gift to myself. Comes in the traditional dust bags. I wish they gave the dust bags, honestly. And I got the bum bag i don't even know what this hold on i don't even know what specifically this bum bag is called i have a screenshot in my phone because i'm going to get the other color now um it is the monogram and priente bum bag so it's so good so the reason i got this one in comparison to the traditional brown monogram one was because I noticed that when I would see the brown monogram one on girls that were like small and slim and short like me, the bag is freaking ginormous. Like, it's huge. Um, it's one of those things I feel like you have to like warm up to and me, if I don't like something like from the get go, I don't really, it doesn't grow on me. I feel like you have to have like um just like a wider body that body statue and a wider bust for it to look good on you. So these bum bags, they come in this black and this cream. They're slimmer, they're more narrow, but they still are big. But like on comparison to someone like me, like this is the perfect size, whereas the other one is just it would take up like my whole entire chest area. So it is black, it's embossed with monogram and the oh, oh my god, it's so pretty. So it's just all black. It's like a matte black and it just has the Louis Vuitton print all over it. It has a gold zipper right here. Everything is lined in orange on the inside. It has like this little thing right here. And then the one zipper for the main compartment. Oh, if I could get it, I think, is there stuff? Oh, I had the zipper flipped, so that's why. No, I emptied it. So it's orange lining in the inside again. It's sweet. Oh my gosh, it's, oh, it's so freaking good i can't believe i don't see more people with this which is weird you can adjust it by this thing which i like and then you can also adjust it like with the regular buckle so i feel like it gives you like a lot of options where it's like depending on how you wear it because i like like how it looks like this like hanging on the shoulder i like how it well this isn't the side i wear but i like how it looks across the body um and then you also have the option to just tighten it completely if I can do that so like make this as small as you can and then you will alter the buckle side and then put the strap through guys I'm so hot sitting in front of these lights like this is why people get paid to do this because this is art and then you could carry it by this so my hands are small so i could tell like if i wear like jeans and like a white top like that i would carry it like this in a picture but it's just so cute it's <sighs> when you buy a bag from louis vuitton their quality is just amazing i mean i don't have a birkin or anything to compare it to but 
out of all my bags i would have to say the like the highest quality that i always felt like was the most durable and worth it um was louis vuitton in my balenciaga bag that i have um i have the satin puppy boy my dog is so adamant about getting out. I have a set in Balenciaga crossbody, and it's just, the quality is just impeccable. I mean, it's sturdy, it's heavy. Like, you could tell that I spent the money that I did on it, whereas, like, the Gucci bags that I have, like, the chains aren't heavy and stuff like that. That's kind of my thing with Chanel bags. I mean, I think they're beautiful bags. I think they're classic. I think they're gorgeous, but when I go in a store... <sighs> spending, like, five or $6,000 on a bag, you know, and the bag is, like three pounds and the chain weighs half a pound it's almost like kind of like you don't feel like you like it's as sturdy or as high quality as it should be for the money if it makes sense like for me like if i'm spending that type of money like i want i want it to just feel like the quality is like the top quality like i don't want to feel like it's shallow metal or something like that i don't know i don't know where i'm going with this rent um but yeah so those were the fashion items that i picked up and then the last thing i picked up because I needed something to bring my shit home. How else was I going to get it back to America? Uh, I packed two suitcases to go there and I came home with three. <laughs> so I had to check two bags here. Um, I picked up the off-white luggage. This is what I picked up from their department store, whatever it is called. The something, 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 B something. Um, I picked this up. So I've been wanting this. <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably kind of caught on that I'm always torn in between being a hype beast and being glassy. Like, I don't really know where. <laughs> my, my style is very much in the middle. Like, I'm very classy and minimal and subtle. But at the same time, I'm very much a hype beast. Like, you know, I'll carry a designer bag with some off-white Nikes. Like, I have, I don't care. That's my style. I'm young, so I blame it on that. It's my it's like my generation that we um, dress like that. So yeah, so I picked up this. I've been wanting it. I was going to order it when I was home, but then when I saw it there and I needed a suitcase anyways, I was like, let me just buy it now. Um, this is the black one. I'm going to take it out. This is the protective case. Puppy boy. This is the protective case that I have it in because I store it in my closet for easy access. That's what he said. <laughs> We love easy access. <laughs> um, it just zips all the way around and you just take it off like this. So I got this in black. Now when I carried it home, of course I wasn't like taking care of it as best as I could because it's a freaking suitcase. Like I'm not stressing myself out about not scratching up a suitcase like that's going to happen. It's inevitable. Um, I have the marble cow packs that every blogger in the world has out in Center Picture. Um, it was very disheartening the first time they ever got scratched, but you know, you get over it. It's a suitcase. I'm hoping if I take like a magic eraser to the scratches on here, it'll come off, but yeah. So it looks like this. So it just has the off-white logo. It's a very small carry-on. Like it doesn't fit much in comparison to my cow pack carry-on. Um, like in here, I could put like a few pairs of shoes but like, i can't put clothes or anything on top of that whereas my cow pack i could fit like i could pack for a trip with that suitcase it's one of those bigger carry-ons and then the back of the dust bag has the off-white logo again and then when you take it off it says for travel because we love pointing out the obvious uh but yeah it was just so cute i couldn't leave it and i didn't have no way to get my stuff home anyways I wasn't going to leave it there. And obviously, I had to bring the boxes home, the bags home, everything. So, I had to buy some luggage. So, this was the last thing that I got. I only, I've only ever used it that one time. Um, I'm going to New York in a few weeks. So, I'll probably use it then if, if my stuff fits. But other than that, it's one of those things is just for the look. Like, it's not even... It's not practical. It's a waste of money, honestly, because like I said, it's a suitcase. It's going to get messed up. So, I mean, I want the Louis Vuitton suitcase and I plan on that being one of my next big purchases because um, why not? But they're suitcases. Like, there's no way to protect them, um, especially like this one because of the material. What is this, like carbon or something? Um, it's just going to scratch and stuff. So, yeah. So, I picked this up, though. I stored everything in here. Well, technically... I took stuff out my other bags and put it in there, and then I put all this stuff in my big suitcase. Um, but yeah, that was everything I got from Amsterdam. I don't, I talked a lot in this video, didn't I? I did. 
I don't know, did you, were you curious about all my story times? No, probably not. Um, but yeah, so that's everything that I got. I just also want to mention as a little disclaimer, this is in no way or shape or form me bragging with you, me boasting, me, you know, just being flashy. I mean, everybody knows that I love high-end designer things. You can tell that from my Instagram and from everything I wear in my pictures. Like I said, these were all gifts to me. Um, I'm very blessed. I'm very loved. <laughs> and I, you know, it was Christmas time. What do you want me to do? But everybody did ask me on Instagram what I got because I posted a picture with all 100 of my bags. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to show you guys a little sit down. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. If you guys want to see more luxury hauls as I shop, let me know. Um, next time I'm in Amsterdam, I'll vlog because <laughs> I'm going back again. Um... But yeah, just let me know and comment on the video, like the video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.